It's October, which means it's time for spooky and scary things. And the first thing, Jesus. Yeah, very funny, man. Gee. So to create this effect, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is film a static shot of the background. We're gonna call this our clean plate. I then had my friend dress up in this silly little ghost cloth, and then we acted it out. I had him wear another cloth underneath simply because the top cloth was a little bit see-through. Now from within Premiere, you're just going to mask around the outside of the cloth, and then animate the mask path each frame as you're ripping the cloth off your friend. One thing to be aware of here is shadows in the background. Try to make sure it's as neutral as possible, and you might want to add a little feather to your mask just to make it a little bit smoother. Yeah, very funny, man. So I just found out how candy corn is made, and apparently it's made from this kind of weird autumnal decorative corn. Who knew? <laughs> oh, but it's still terrible. Oh. Now the first thing I film here is me dumping out the candy corns from a cup twice onto the table. And then with the candy corn already on the table, I act out the rest of the scene. Now from within Premiere, I just have to line up these two shots, so as the candy corn is hitting the table, it lines up with me making the motion with the corn. I do one layer where I mask in the area of the table to make it look clear. Then I do another layer where I mask in where the candy corn is going from the cup onto the table. And if you line it up just right, it's gonna look pretty clean when you do the trick. You know, some people like to freehand their jack-o'-lanterns, but me, I've always kind of liked drawing them out first, you know? Getting them down on a piece of paper, getting it all lined up. Then you're done. Oh, not again. So the first shot is of the pumpkin before I carved it, but I did cut off the top and I took out the guts inside. Then making sure to not move the pumpkin as I carved it, I acted out the scene with the carved pumpkin. I then put a candle in the pumpkin, and then I brightened the exposure of the pumpkin and got a shot there. Now as I act out the scene, I mask in the uncarved pumpkin section, and then I animate the mask as I bring the piece of paper up. Now when I flick the paper, I'm going to cut the footage layer just as I flick it, and then I'm going to cut the footage layer just as I bring it outside of the shot. I'm going to right click that section, and I'm going to click on Replace with After Effects Composition. Now what I did within After Effects is I took each frame and I used the paint feature and I painted in the area of the paper so that it looked all white. To do that you want to go into layer mode by double clicking the layer, going up top to the paintbrush, selecting the color of white that you want, and then just brushing in over the black areas of the paper. When you save that and go back into Premiere you're going to find that the paper is now white after you flick it. Now for the section where you snap and it turns on the light within the pumpkin, you're simply going to take the brightened exposure layer, duplicate it for each part of the pumpkin, and you're going to mask in each shape. Then you're done. If you've ever wondered why witches wear these kind of hats, it's because you can store so much stuff in them. <laughs> Make a wand. Uh, uh, wrong universe. As you might have suspected, this is done by cutting a hole in the hat and then stacking those objects that you pull out of the hat right below the frame. Your hand's gonna go right through the hat and pull the objects out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna film another clean plate, bring it into Premiere, and you're gonna animate the mask each frame to make sure that your hand is no longer visible in the shot. And for the lightsaber, you're gonna bring in that area of the footage file into After Effects. I use my favorite plugin, Saber, from Video Copilot, and each frame I'm gonna place in the saber to make it look from this to this. But the step-by-step -step on that is something I'll save for another video. All right, everyone, that's it. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween. Let me know down in the comments what you think of everything and I always do appreciate a new subscriber, so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually dead. Uh, if you want to know how to do this effect, just check out the video right here. Thank you for watching. Happy Halloween. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.